I'm three on your side, Gary Harper. And when it comes to robocalls, they can drive you bananas. Believe me, I get my fair share as well. But there are some ways to cut down on those robocalls. However, you have to be willing to spend just a little. Don't pick up because it's likely spam. Nearly half of the calls made to U.S. cell phones this year will be spam. That's according to a recent study cited by the FCC. So what can you do right now to stop them? The first step is to register with the federal do not call list. Next, use apps and spam filters on your smartphone to keep unwanted calls under control. AT&T, Verizon and T-Mobile each offer their own free call blocking service. They also offer additional services, but at a price. Verizon's call filter app auto blocks calls from known fraudsters. It costs $2.99 per month and it shows you warning banners for suspicious calls and has a spam reporting tool. AT&T's Call Protect also has similar features and add-ons. It does cost a little more at $3.99. T-Mobile has an app that offers a premium caller ID service at four bucks a month. Over at Sprint, their robocall blocking service costs $2.99 a line. And when it comes to landlines, you can sign up for a free service called Nomo Robo, which works with Comcast Xfinity, Verizon Fios, and AT&T UVerse customers. It won't solve everything, but it's a start. Gary Harper, three on your side.